Okay, so I never would have thought that Aquarius would be a pimp. I mean, she made brandish her bitch after not seeing her in years. I mean, the last time I made a girl get on all fours, call me master, and I slapped her, and she said thank you very much, I had to pay for that shit. What's going on, my fellow Fitty Tidu, my doshis? I hope you didn't believe what I just said. Um, I don't know if you should or not. But anyway, this chapter has was great. I mean, there wasn't any action per se, but... I appreciate the fact that they answered all of our questions in this one chapter. Like, how did Layla really die? Who really killed Brandish's mother? Why is Aquarius back? All of these questions have been answered in one chapter, and I can dig that. And let me say that whenever Hito gets a chance, he has to show off Brandish's ass. Somehow, I mean, just almost, almost every chapter she's been in. There's like a beautiful, delicious butt shot of our big booty brandish. I'm like, damn. I'm like, damn, someone buy Hito a big bootied bitch. I mean, come on. And for all of you that fapped to the Little Mermaid when you were younger, you probably splooshed all over the place. You probably messed up your phone, your tablet, laptop, whatever you were reading this on. Because we got Aquarius, she's already a fish woman. But Lucy and Brandish have now turned into mermaids in this astral space so i thought that was pretty cool i thought that was a pretty neat effect but i don't think it was necessary i think that was just for some fan service in the previous chapters we learned that Zeref conspired with this celestial wizard to kind of transport the dragon slaying children to the future and now we know that was lucy's ancestor Anna Hartfilia, I believe it was. I don't know what it is about her. I don't know if it's her serious face. If it's the diamond cleavage she has showing part of her tits. She looks hot. Like, she is fucking gorgeous. Whoever banged her to continue the Hartfilia line, I'm like, man, fuck you. Fuck you. But we already knew that it was said. I think it was said, or at least heavily implied, that Layla was the one that opened up the door to get the Dragon Slaying Children to where they are now but i don't think we got the fact that it pretty much drained all of the life force out of layla i pretty much i think i theorized that in one review i forget i think that was kind of an obvious choice for hito to take but at least we got confirmation and the stitched mouth lady i forgot he's the one that killed brandish's mom and i'm glad brandish finally got closure so i don't know if she's gonna want to hunt her down or what now but it seems like Lucy and Brandish are about to be besties after this, and I think Brandish is a good person to have on their side. I mean, just, you understand how OP she is to make things shrink and grow at her leisure? That's a pretty damn powerful female right there. So they hug it out, and Happy shows up with Natsu. He's exhausted. I don't know if it's because all of Igneel's magic has been sucked out of him, or... I, I don't know. I mean, he has been going in for a long time. He might just be tired. I don't know what's happening with our pink-haired badass right now. But this was a pretty decent chapter. Like I said, it answered all the questions we had from last chapter. Like, I guess the Celestial Spirit Keys are like devil fruits from One Piece. Like, whenever they break or something, they respawn somewhere else within the world. So this reunion isn't permanent as of right now unless Lucy gets her key again somewhere down the line which I'm pretty sure she will I mean come on her or um Yukino I can't remember if that's her name you know the other celestial spirit wizard tell me what you guys thought about this chapter what's going on with Natsu is Brandish about to abandon her Spriggan 12 title and help Fetty Tedu out what's about to happen next and this was a good break from all the action and epicness that was going on. But hopefully we get back to that next chapter after we figure out what's ailing Natsu. Anyway, this has been JB the Chiha. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.